Hello, so I've recently gotten an itch to play uh, the Temporas minigame and uh, try my hand at the pet once again. And uh, this is the method that I've been using to get the most points. I've kind of narrowed it down to get a guaranteed 11 points minimum. Uh, 11, 11 plus points, so. I'm kind of making this for myself for future reference in case I, in case I don't get the pet and I want to come back to this. I'll have something to look back on to see what I did exactly because this method is very easy, very laid back. Uh, and, you know, maybe it'll help someone else out who's also trying to get the pet. And they want to have an easy, easy time about it. So, this method works best with a dragon harpoon. In particular, the infernal harpoon. It works pretty well with regular harpoons. It's pretty difficult with barbarian fishing because it's just a little too slow. And I don't have a crystal harpoon because... <laughs> yeah, well, I don't have a crystal harpoon. All right, so let's uh, let's just dive right into this, and I'll talk. I'll talk as I go. All right, so we're on the boat. Uh, if you see my inventory, I got eight buckets, my Incamdo hammer, and a rune pouch with the uh, runes for the spell Humidify from the Lunar Spell Book. You need those things to do this method. Uh, and, I mean, I have Rada's Blessing. I don't know what that does, but I feel like at one point in time, uh, I, I read something that it's good for fish. So right out the gate, go pop your special, just catch some fish. You want to catch around 10 fish. Uh, ideally, your harpoon will cook the majority of the fish. But it doesn't look like I'm getting too lucky on that. Once you got your 10 fish, go cook it. And you're gonna, while you're cooking, you're gonna be looking for the double fish spawn. There it is. You can tell it's the double fish because the fish is jumping out of the water. Also, well, never, yeah, there it is, Heart Rock. So, I don't know how this works, but I usually end up spawning on Heart Rock side. All right, I got all my cooked fish. Look at that, nice and easy. Let's go ahead and cook all of it. Uh, here comes the wave. Go ahead and latch yourself on. Ideally, you would have full Spirit Angler, so you don't have to waste a spot for a rope. Because this outfit uh, comes with a free rope built in. Which is the only reason I, I wear this, honestly. I like the original angler outfit better. I'm not a big fan of the baby blues. Okay, so this part is very important. We want the fires to strike. And when you're firing the fish, you're going to hold on to one fish. And that's going to leave him at 4%. When he's at 4%, he's too weak to do anything else. So you kind of just have free reign over the whole island. Now go about and extinguish the flames on your side. So that you don't burn and have to deal with... Ooh, double fish. You don't burn and have to deal with losing your stuff. But it's very important you get him down to 14%. Which is why, like, um, the inventory is set up like this, so you specifically always get him to 4%. And then, in the next round, you knock him down to 10%. Because, as you see, we didn't finish the round immediately. We're stocking up on uh, another inventory to, once we knock him down to 4%, we're going to knock him down to 10%. Which, again, he's too weak at that point to do anything 
and clear up all the waves and like uh, summon more fire which is the linchpin of this whole method because while we're doing this and preparing for the next round uh, unfortunately for our crew on the other side they're kind of uh, being engulfed in flames right now <laughs> but uh yeah they're not having a good time over there but to their dismay that's actually a benefit for us because and you can give it a little second for the fires to spread because at the final round the third round these flames are what's going to give us all the points we need to get to the uh guaranteed 11 tickets you could give it a second if you want uh you wait for however long you want to uh stock up on your points and then fire the last one and then fire every single fish in your inventory you don't have to immediately run down to the spirit pool and start attacking them uh it's fine So there we go, every fish is in the in the tank. Going down to the spirit pool. And we're gonna stay at the spirit pool until it kicks us off and Temporos comes back out. Because we need to do as much damage to him as possible. Just so when it comes to the third round, we have as much time to go about putting out fires on the other side of the island as possible and we don't have to worry about cutting it early just so we can go back and do more damage to him because I mean you'll see what you'll see what it's like when we get there but yeah this is the second round you see the fish are you can't really see it but the fish were popping off and they knocked him down to 10% health which is one a little higher than what we want but it's perfect for this method because at 10 percent health he's not going to summon a wave and clear all the fire but you want to make sure you come back up here and fire one cooked fish just to knock him down to four percent health that way you uh just do the exact same thing you did before you ended round one you get a full inventory you cook all of it and uh, you're cooking it, mind you, for the uh, points. Not exactly for good fishing experience, but uh, this method is about the points. So yeah, you cook it, you go all the way back up. He's at, he has to be at 4%, fire all your fish. But with this being the second round, we're gonna do something different when we get back on the boat. All right, all fish are fired, moving down to Hack Temporos. Now, with this go, once we're done attacking Temporos, we're going to fill our inventory with buckets, except for two slots. Because like before, he's going to be at 10% energy, and uh, that's about two cooked fish worth of uh, damage. So, this is where Humidify comes in as well. So there you go. Take X buckets. Just take all the buckets. Drop two. And before we leave, we're going to catch two fish and cook them. Oh, there you go. Good. Beautiful. Harpoon cooked them both for us. So this is where it kind of gets a little dicey because the flames do jump. And if they jump and eat your buckets or even worse, your cooked fish, you're kind of going to be in a bad spot. Look at that. Oh, that, I mean, that was just awful for me, but a good example to see. Which, I mean, it's not the worst scenario because now I can show you that it's not impossible to come back from something like that. Man, what are the odds? All right, so now we just kind of go and play firefighter and extinguish as many hopefully all of the fires that we can because that's how we're gonna get most of our points we're gonna get about 2,000 ish points here <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, that's a little unfortunate that it, uh, I couldn't get a perfect run off of this, but those fires, man. Mm, sometimes you can time it to where you, you're coming around the corner there and you can actually see the fires jump. And that's a really good time to do it because you know they're not going to jump again. And when you're clearing these fires, you don't want to go left to right because that's uh, I've fig I've found that that increases your chance of getting uh, jumped on by fires. You just want to pick a lane and go right down it as far as you want to go, and then just cycle back. Also, a good tip that I learned uh, yesterday when I was doing this: when you refill, run back because the fires will jump and surprise you and steal your fish and click around the top part of the flames not the base on this side because sometimes you'll click the base and you'll end up just walking on the fire because that's not exactly where it currently is All right, so we're getting close to the boat now. We also need one more fish or two raw fish to kind of compensate for the one we lost, which this is perfect here. I'll drop an extra bucket just to be safe. Yeah, I need the fish. Boom, easy, beautiful harpoon catch and catch and cook. We're at 86%. It's a little dicey. This is especially dicey catching humidify here. But we're going for it because it's at 90. And we got to surgically cut our way through the fires here. 94%. But we're just about here. Easy. Fire all your fish. And he's down. Now just go back. Depending on the amount of health you leave him on. Since I left him on 10, I have plenty of time to go around and put out these fires. And even fix that totem pole. But yeah, depending on the amount of health you leave them on, uh, kind of lets you gauge how how much time you have to go around and finish cleaning up. Bing, bang, boom. Beautiful construction experience in a fishing game. You gotta love it. Now we just finished the fight and you get beautiful 9,500-ish points. Pretty much a guaranteed 11 tickets. And we did it.